this is awesome with a slice of butter. <laughs> what was that? I'm Lisa, and this is awesome with a slice of butter. Richie. Awesome. <laughs> with a slice of butter. That's what he told me to say. <laughs> She's been drinking, and it's like 9.30 in the morning. All right, so we are here at the El Trevator, uh, which sounds very, um, you know, romantic. Actually, it's very... It's very interesting. You, you have to see this place to believe it. Um, one of the highlights of a stay in Kingman, Arizona, which, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the coolest cities in the whole world. Um, uh, Richmond. Wait, 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 just, just. <laughs> She's definitely on something. Okay, so, so while we've been staying here at the uh, El Trovatore, and, and actually, I'm gonna take one second before, before we do this, and you gotta see this room because I gotta show you the, the shower. Hang on, the shower in this room is crazy. Okay, this is the room. That's my bed made up. That's, well, you know, Ray never makes his bed. But look at this shower. You walk in here, and you actually walk into this, like, dark cave, and there is the shower head, and on the opposite end of the room is the controls. So, you cannot actually control the water while you're actually under it. So you have to like walk over, control it, and then walk back and, and, and actually get in it and see how it is. The rooms are very cool. Straight out of the 30s, they have not been updated. They've just been taken care of. And that makes this, this old motel very cool. And while we were staying here, this thing showed up. Now, this is a 1949 trailer being pulled by, is this a 50 Hudson? By a 53 Hudson Hornet. And. Crown? Okay, well, we're not gonna open it up because it's like all sorts of girl frilly stuff in there. And, and we don't wanna show you all the girly frilly stuff. But, but this, this setup belongs to. Well, you know, there are like bag ladies and there are all sorts of. This is, this is a trailer lady. In fact, this belongs to. VintageTrailerMagazines.com. Um, Lisa and Rick editor. travel. Okay, well she's the she's the editor. And the creator. And, okay, and the creator. And the publisher. And okay, how, just keep going. Go ahead and, and let's. And, and I'm, I'm basically she writes it, shoots it, photographs it. Um, basically, she's a she's a one. I would say a mon, one man show, except. I'm a woman. One right. We yeah. sort of figured that out. I, you know how I knew that? Because. Yeah, it was the skirt. That it, it was a dead giveaway. The skirt was a dead giveaway. And so Rick over there has been traveling with her. No, we um, only met here yesterday. Oh, they only met yesterday. Well, no, met, up. met up yesterday. Oh, you only met up yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He was traveling from, where did you come from? Uh, Mesa. Mesa, and I came from Okay. Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. you, all right. So, but you guys have known each other and been on sort of a traveling circuit for quite a while. Now, now here's what I find interesting. This young lady travels largely alone in a 1953 Hudson Hornet. Now, I gotta tell you, that takes, I, I won't say, no, I would say gonads because, you know, you you can have those. Um, that does take a lot of, uh, that, that takes a lot of uh, courage to do that. Now, how many times have you broken down in that car? Six times. So, so six times she's been stopped on the side of the road and had to get it towed. Now, has... Oh, you've only really? Yes, I broke my my transmission in Springfield, Illinois. I was half a mile from a transmission shop. I did my starter motor here in Kingman as I was pulling into the KOA. I got a mobile mechanic fixed it. My wiring was the only time I had to get towed, and that was in Calabasas, California. Okay, oh, and that was towed. only for a single wire. Actually, yeah, it was. Actually, no, I did actually get I get towed. Oh, you've been towed a few times. And, okay. And she moved here from Australia. Really? We thought that was a South Carolina accent. No, Australia. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Australia. Because it sounds like it's South Carolina to me. Yeah, Oregon. Hang on, hang on. I live in Oregon. Okay, all right. There's proof that she's from Australia because only Australians are allowed to put Australian flags on the back of her car. So, if you're into cool trailer magazines... Oh, hang on. We're... She's fighting me into her trailer. It's Hang a bit on. messy, but... Oh, it's, it's horribly messy. <laughs> Hang on, so we're inside this trailer. Now, you have to understand this trailer is probably... How many feet long is it? About nine? 
10 feet. So it's 10 feet long, which is, of course, not much longer than a human being, you know, when you're laying down, because an average human being, well, maybe not her. What are you, you're five, five foot two? two? Okay. Yeah. All right. Like normal human beings are close to six feet tall. So how do you, how do you, how do you sleep in this bed? It's, it's six feet long. This bed is six feet wide. Uh, no, six feet, yeah, six feet that way, yeah. This is. Mm -hmm. Why does it look like it's about four feet? It does. It really does. And, and of course, she's got the heart-shaped pillows and the polka dot. I mean, this is very, very retro in here. Very cool. Uh, that's me. All right. And um, I've been on the road for four weeks sleeping in there. She's been... How many nights have you slept out of four weeks? How many nights have you not slept in your trailer? Last night. Yeah, first night. That was the only night. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you slept in this trailer every night. Yep. That's pretty cool. Now, do you have heat in this trailer? What that? That's not a heater. That's a that's a hand warmer. It heats this thing up in five minutes. Like so that heats this up. What is it? What does it use to heat it up? Electricity. Elec you use electricity in this? How do you think I turn the lights on? That's a battery, right? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I've got a three-way fridge and it's running the whole time as well. So that's, okay. That's all. You know, it's new. It's not retro, but it works cool. It's got a freezer in it. It's my happy place. Yes, it's her happy. Actually, <laughs> folks, we've only met this lady about, uh, you know, this young lady probably 30 minutes ago, and we think she's definitely happy all the time. I mean, she actually really is. She's, she's, she's really high-spirited. So um, she is uh, hanging out here for the day. Actually, I think no, you're no, about to hit the road. the road. We're going to Vegas. Going to Vegas. Mm. Oh, you know what they say about Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, what happens in the... In, in Kingman stays in Kingman. What, oh, what happens in Eris? I don't think so. Yeah, well, no, in my case, nothing stays where it belongs. But, but actually, very cool setup. So, if you folks, hang on, let me see one edition of your magazine. There you go. Um, really well done. Um, what she does is a magazine on uh, vintage trailers. And so, basically, she travels the world. Well, actually, she used to travel the world because she used to go travel all over Australia. New Zealand. America. You didn't. You didn't actually transport your car from Australia to New Zealand, did you? I did actually. You did. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and my trailer. Okay, you got to go really fast to cross that water. <laughs> I mean, otherwise you just tend to sink. But yeah, um, a great magazine about cool cars, cool trailers. And so if you're uh, if you're up for it, uh, look her up on the web at uh, vintage. Hang on, I'm going to get this one right. VintageTrailerMagazine.com. It's actually a really cool magazine. I'm getting a, a subscription to it myself. Yeah. So, any, any parting words for us, Lisa? Happy trails. All right, happy trails. Talk to you later.